Right, I've got my differential for my gearbox. This one has a 3.65 to 1 ratio. Can't remember how many teeth it is. It works out to that. Got the pinion gear there and the crown wheel that I need. Uh, I also need the output shafts. I've got uh, mini spares, molybdenum, cross pin differential. This has twice as many. Uh, yeah, twice as many planet gears. This one only has two planet gears. This one has four planet gears, so it makes it a bit stronger. That's the, the casing for my gearbox. Differential fits on the back there. And as you can see, this has been modified for a, a front gear change rather than the rear gear change. That's normally where the, the change comes in. Uh, the remote the remote's up this side here uh, but as the engine has been moved to the back of the car the gear change now comes in the front so first thing to do with this is uh, I need to pull that bearing off because uh, that's attached to the crown wheel and then once I get that off I can remove the crown wheel and get the output shafts off get both output shafts out clean them up and then uh, start assembling the, the new twin cross pin diff pull it on this shouldn't really be pulling on the outer cage I think it's coming yeah it's coming up sometimes the cage will just fall off It's actually pulling. These can be quite hard at times, so this one's coming off surprisingly easily. There we go. Managed to get it off in one piece. Most unusual. So now I need to knock back the tabs and take out the six bolts. Five eighths. Oh, the queen tight. <laughs> That's the, the crown wheel. It's a one piece crown wheel with the, the spigot for the bearing attached. Standard mini ones have this set up. The LSD version has a bolt on version with a, a separate spigot as part of the differential housing. That's a standard type. Has a, a bronze bush in there. But, uh, the output shaft runs on. And there we have the output shaft with the the sun gear on it. Also has this fibre washer that goes in between the inside face of the crown wheel. And applies thrust to the, the system, takes up the play splines for the pot joints with the little wire clip that holds the pot joint on. These look pretty good. Teeth look good. So 
So the next thing we need to do is there's a a roll pin a roll pin in here that you can punch out and you can take out the cross pin remove the thrust block and the, the planet gears and then we can get the opposite side output shaft out right little rod there then is ground down I might be enough to knock the pin out is it moving? yes it's coming out Pins backed out now. Probably far enough that I can knock out the gear, knock out the, sorry, knock out the pin. Cross pin. the thrust block out the centre. That's one of the planet gears and then there's also a little bronze thrust. Same on the other side, just need not to see a wee bit more. Cross pin. The other planet gear. The other bronze thrust. And it's just a simple case of sliding out the other output shaft. And it also has a, a fibre thrust washer on it. Okay, I'll now go and clean up the bits that we're keeping. That's the two output shafts and the crown wheel and the pinion gear and the bolts. I've got new I've got new bearings for it and then everything else should be in the mini spares kit. So this is what you get with the mini spares molybdenum twin cross pin diff. This is the, the new housing you get, nicely machined from, from billet. And you see it's got two cross pins. And you notice there's a slight angle between the parts. There's a X uh, headed socket screw in there that holds this pin in. Take that out slide the pin out and then you can maneuver the other pins out and take out the thrust block and then reassemble with the, the new supplied planet gears with the, the uh, bronze thrust washers and there's also two new fibre thrust washers for the output shaft and that's the allen key that's used to slacken that off You've got to make sure you don't force anything. Everything should slide together beautifully. It's a precision machine part and uh, things go together well. You shouldn't be having to force anything. I've used other twin cross pin discs from other manufacturers and they're not a patch on these ones. These, these are by far the best ones. The other ones have had to be selective with the thrust washers you put on them because they were locking up when you assembled them. And, uh, there was another version that I just had a, a roll pin holding a cross pin in it and uh, I know somebody who had the roll pin back out and then one of the cross pins backed out and then it chewed the entire differential up. But these ones I found go together very nicely. 
So first thing, first thing I'll do is dismantle this. Just make a note of the way it goes, where the angles are, so you get it back in the same position. Right, first thing we do is take out this uh, the screw that holds in the this cross bin here. This slides out of the block. So you take the screw out and use a, a small pointy tool get in and start to lever the, the pin out. Now it's quite tricky to do. You don't want to be grabbing with anything. And now you get a wee screwdriver. Just catch the edge of the hole there and lever it out. See, it's a good fit in there. And there's a the pin there for the hole. You should be able to take that one right out now. Just pushes right through. This is the one that goes all the way through. Again, it's a good fit in there. A little bit of a little bit of persuasion, doesn't need much. That's what it's coming out. Just barely tapping that. You should be able to take that one out as well. goes in. Right, that's the way I took it out. So does it matter which way it goes round? Yes it does. I'll just mark that. Right, I know that's actually that's the top face. thrust in the right place so don't catch it. That's one in. making sure it's sliding in there I'm just sliding the block enough that the pin goes in 
easily. So then you can get the next gear dropped in. Yeah, there's a, a pin here that's one sided that this goes into. That pin goes in there, so you need to make sure it, it goes through at the right angle. And then meet up with the opposite side gear, it goes in there. You can just see it in through the end where that that hole is, so you can manoeuvre it and get it centralised. Probably just need a wee bit of jiggling. To get it absolutely in the centre, perpendicular. It's not bad at that. So now we have to fit the last gear. And again got that pin to go into the, the centre there and then that notch needs to be up, upwards to meet up. No, it's not quite meeting in there so it needs a wee bit of adjustment one way or the other. That's it, it's going in. So the screw goes in. And we tighten up the now that screw can't back out because it butts up against the, the crown wheel. In other versions they still used the, the pin and the pin could back out and then all, all manner of things go wrong. Now that's spinning nicely. All the planet gears are going right. All the thrusts are in place. So the other thing you have to do is replace the thrust washer with a nice new one. That goes in there, and then a bit of a hole in there. The crane wheel then goes on and gets bolted on. And it should, once it's all clamped up, it should still turn freely. Just start all these, uh, these bolts, and we've got the locking plates. These look in pretty good condition, the locking plates. What I will do before I tighten them up is I'll put some Loctite on the bolts. Not a very good ratchet, but we'll use the torque wrench in a minute. Right, I'm set at 60 foot pounds, and I'm just going to Exercise the torque wrench. It's always advisable to set it and then give it a little exercise first to bed it in to make sure it's going to do the right torque. Right, 
they have torqued down now knock the tabs back try and knock the tabs back So there it is assembled. All I need to do now is put the bearings on. I won't do that until it's ready to go into the car. It saves me getting them messed up. But uh, yep, going to together very nicely. Yes, yeah, so I'm I'm impressed with the mini spares version. The malib the malibnum. I can't even say malibdinum. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> They're very good, go together very well, and they always rotate, unlike uh, another well known version. As I was saying, I needed to use selective thrust washers on the, the other one to get it to, to rotate freely. It would just lock up if you put standard, standard thrusts in. <laughs> 